And greetings YouTube gamers, welcome to another episode of Retro Raider, my name is Johnny Retro and welcome to the channel. Okay, so today we're going to talk about the iconic Atari 2600. Now, 2017 is actually going to be a big year for Atari 2600 because this baby right here will turn 40 years old. There's a lot of stuff going on concerning to Atari, I mean we have the new Atari Flashback 8, we're going to have a brand new Atari console which it is not technically made by Atari but it is the Atari box, I bet that you guys have already heard about it. And Hyperkin is also going to release the Retron 77, which pretty much like the Retron 5, it is the same concept, but it plays Atari 2600 cartridges. So the only thing that I can say is that this baby right here, the Atari 2600, it is still very relevant to this day, 40 years after. But let's talk about the original games. Uh, and Atari 2600 is a system that a lot of gamers have a hard time getting into it. You have to keep in mind that this is a very primitive form of gaming. If you compare this to, let's say, the NES or the Master System, those two systems are light years ahead of this one. You know, the games are very basic, very repetitive, and a lot of people get bored with just a couple of minutes of gameplay. So I started my Atari 2600 collection about two years ago, and I must say that I'm totally addicted to this system. I think that when you start to get into it, and we start to understand the importance and the meaning of these games, and uh, what they represented at the time, and the influence that they brought to the modern era of gaming, I think that you might change your mind about Atari. So what I'm going to bring you guys today are 5 games, just a handful of games for new Atari 2600 collectors out there. So let's take a closer look of my suggestions right after this. Okay, so for number one, and this is a personal favorite of mine, Yard's Revenge. Now, there are a lot of shooters for the Atari 2600, but there is not a shooter like Yard's Revenge. So this one is a vertical space shooter. So the objective of the game is to destroy this fortress where the, the main villain, or the boss if you will, lays on. And after you break the fortress while avoiding enemies, you get to fire a cannon to destroy him. And on the middle you have this neutral zone where you don't take damage, but you also can't fire. There is actually a lot of strategy going on with this one. And uh, the controls are super tight, uh, the gameplay is very fast, I just love Yard's Revenge. Okay, so for number two, Venture. Adventure is kind of a unique game within the 2600 library. So the goal of the game is to collect treasures from a dungeon. So you have four rooms within the dungeon and uh, you must avoid the enemies while roaming around the dungeon. And within each room there's a piece of treasure that you must steal. And uh, inside of these rooms you can actually use your bow to defeat your enemies. And after you beat it you can start all over again but with a harder difficulty. It's a very basic game graphic wise, I mean even for Atari 2600 but you know, for a single player game, it is one of my favorites on the system, so Venture, I totally recommend this game for you guys. Okay, number three, and this one is a total classic on the Atari library, Berserk. So in Berserk you go around in dungeons fighting evil robots. You fire lasers, you have to avoid their lasers and their explosions. It's also a very replayable game because the dungeons are actually generated randomly. And within this game it probably lies the most iconic villain on Atari, which is Evil Auto, the great port of the original arcade game Berserk for the Atari 2600. Okay, number 4, and uh, this is actually a game from 1977, it was one of the first 9 games to be released on the Atari 2600, a total classic, Combat. So I'm throwing this game on the list because, you know, at least from my collection, I think that this is the best multiplayer game on the system. It's a great game to play in versus mode. The objective is actually pretty simple, you just have to destroy your opponent. But the cool thing of the game is that you actually have multi-types of gameplay to choose from. You can choose from tank game, you can choose by biplanes, and also by jets. A great game to play in versus mode, combat. Okay, for the last one, and uh, of course that I had to throw this game in, I mean, this game was actually the very first contact that I had with the Atari 2600. I played this game on a convention a couple of years ago, and um, after playing this, I, I must say that I felt the need of getting a 2600 system right away from my gaming room with a copy of this game because I just wanted to play it. I think that this game needs no introduction. I think that even people who are not into gaming have heard about Space Invaders. 
I can only imagine the feeling of, you know, the kids from the late 70s, early 80s, when they got a copy of Space Invaders, you know, the great arcade hit for their home console at the time. And I think that was probably the feeling of the Atari 2600 when it was released. I mean, it was the arcade experience at home. And of course that I wasn't around on that time period, but I can honestly say that this game is amazing to play today. I've also tried the arcade version, the original one, and I must say that this is actually a very good port. Space Invaders is one of those games where when I start to play it, it is very hard to drop the controller. This is definitely my number one suggestion for new Atari 2600 collectors, Space Invaders. That was it guys, I really hope that you guys have enjoyed this video and please let me know in the comment section below if you're an Atari 2600 collector and what 5 suggestions will you give for new Atari 2600 collectors out there. Also don't forget to put a like on this video, please subscribe to the channel and take care of yourselves, take care of the gaming community and game a lot.